I'm going to run through my appointment process, also my benefits presentation. There's a specific, and I'll try to write more legibly than normal. My appointment process is exactly this. Step number one, warm up. I'm not going to dive too deep. I've got a ton of videos on YouTube. We've got almost 13,000 insurance agents that subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch our videos quite a bit. Warm up, fact find, present, even though that doesn't look like present, and close, and then the cool down. In the warm up, obviously you're getting to know them, warming them up, building a relationship. I believe that relationship is the key to our business. Fact finding, I'm asking any, anything related to fact finding to get the sale, right? Unlike most in final expense, I, I don't ask about budget. I don't care about price. I don't care what they can afford. I don't even want them thinking about it. You know, that's just, that's just my opinion. Uh, because I don't sell on price. Then I move to present and close. And that's where I use this specific benefits presentation that I'm going to walk you through. All right? And in this benefits presentation, there's, I, I go over five benefits. I ask nine trial closes and show three options. Five benefits, nine trial closes, and three options. All right? So I'm going to put a little box over here. I don't know if you can even see it. No, you can't. What I'll do is I'll just put ticks at the bottom of that box for each one of the nine so that you can follow along with me, okay? So what I do to start is, okay, Miss, Miss Betty, there's five benefits, and I'll, I'll move into their bubble, into their personal space. I'm not gonna sit across the room and do this. It, it, it just ain't the same, right? I'm moving in for the next few minutes. Okay, if they're on the couch, I'm, I'm Right there beside them, okay? They're in a recliner. I may go kneel by them, you know, with a pad, and I'll walk through this. I'll say, okay, Miss Betty, this is what I do to close business because I believe I would rather build such a good relationship and, and, and such good value that the product is sold before they actually see the quotes. And using this, it normally is. Who wants it to be sold before they even know how much it costs? Yes. I've collected bank account information before they even know how much it costs before. Who wants to know how to do that? Yep. Okay, good. Perfect. So I'll ask, I'll say, Miss Betty, there's five benefits why my clients absolutely love us. And I want to take a second and share that with you real quick. I'm assuming I can do that, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. That was what I call the first trial closer or minor agreement. Right, that's number one. Then I'll say, okay, Miss Betty, there's the first benefit is that this policy is whole life. So I'll I'll write it, I'll say it, and I'll explain it. Okay, so I'll say, Miss Betty, there's a lot of options out there. There's a lot of policies out there where it doesn't last your entire life. It may end in a year, may end in five years, may end in twenty years. You know, may change in the future, right? If you're selling, whole, if, if you're selling term, you can change this and, and write coverage lock, right? It can be used anyway. And I'll explain how this compares to a lot of other options out there. And then I'll ask another minor agreement. Now, I'm assuming that you love that it's a whole life. Am I right, Miss Betty? Yeah. Good. Okay. That's trial close number two. Then I'll move into benefit number two, which is a price lock. And I'll say, all right, Miss Betty, the amazing thing about the price lock and why you're going to love it so much is that the price is locked in forever. It will never go up. A lot of options out there, it changes when you're 65 or every year or every five years, or every 20 years. Even when you're age 80, they skyrocketed on you. I'm assuming that you do not want that to happen and that this one is extremely important to you. Is that true? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's the third one. Third benefit. In this case, I'll typically use double accident. You can use any that you prefer, right? So I'll explain it, right? I'll explain double accident. And I'll say, most people don't pass away from an accident. However, if you do, it'd be nice to know that your you know, family gets 100,000 of coverage instead of 50,000. Correct? Yeah. Good. Okay. Then moves to number four. We've already had four trial closes or minor agreements. The fourth one 
is that it builds cash value. And I'll explain that. I'll explain how it builds cash value. And I'll say, you know what? We don't recommend that anybody takes money out of their policy, but it's nice to know that it's there. True? Okay, there's another minor agreement. We got five out. Then we move to the fifth one, which has two parts. And I see Miss Betty, I'm a little biased, but my favorite benefit is that you get a local agent out of this. And I'll say there's two reasons why that's extremely important. There's an A portion and a B portion. I'll say, Miss Betty, if you need to change your address, beneficiary, bank account information, phone number, et cetera, you normally have to call a 1-800 number, sit on hold for 40 minutes, beat your brains in, hang up, call back tomorrow, and then maybe you'll eventually get help. Uh, instead, my clients pick up, their cell, pick up their phone, they call my cell phone direct, and I handle it immediately, and that burden is totally lifted. Is that pretty amazing? So that's the A portion. Minor changes. There's another trial close, minor agreement. Then I'll move to the B portion. I'll say, okay, Miss Betty, this one's, this one's the most important part. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. The most important part is that even more important than minor changes, when that day comes where you're no longer with us and your daughter, Susie, right, because you should definitely know the beneficiary name, you should get that in the fact-finding portion of the appointment, your daughter, Susie, has to go and collect on this policy. Now, she's also ha she also has to plan your funeral. Think about food for everybody. You got family and friends coming in town. You got to pick out. She's got to pick out everything. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of stress. It's it's you know it's a tough time whether whether she's celebrating your life, you know, or grieving, however she prefers. No one wants to have to deal with that during that time, Miss Betty. So instead of Susie having to deal with all this and get claim paperwork notarized and sent off to the home office and get back and get death certificates and send everything off and get it back and then hopefully you get a check in a matter of weeks. Instead, Susie can call Cody and he'll take care of everything as fast as I possibly can and relieve that massive burden from her. You love that, don't you, Miss Betty? That's the seventh minor agreement trial close. We've finished all five benefits. Now there's two more. Now... I go a step further and say, of these five, Miss Betty, which one is your favorite? They say, well, I don't know. Well, if you had to choose, which one would you say? <laughs> well, probably the price lock. Okay, good. Excellent. Price lock. That's a great one. Wonderful. Right? There's another minor agreement. They chose one. Now we move into showing three options. And before I show them three options, and I typically have the options wrote, written out before I actually start this so I can go right into it, okay? And so what I do now is I say, oh, Miss Betty, I'm about to show you three options. They come with all five of these benefits, especially the price lock, which I know you love. I even know which one you're going to choose. But I need a favor from you. When I show you these three options, I just need you to tell me which one you're most comfortable with. You can do that for me, can't you? Okay, good. Number nine. Now, I will move into showing the three options. And the way I'll lay it out, I'll just use these numbers for example. I will show one that's over 100 one that's about 80, and one that's about 60 from largest to smallest. The brain is wired that if you do it from largest to smallest, the top one seems really valuable, and you're taking it away from me by showing me smaller options, but if you show them smallest to largest, you're not as confident in the bigger ones, number one. And number two, it feels like you're trying to upsell me. Okay, so I always show over 100, 80, 60, and I go from largest. Got some more time. How about that? And I go from largest to smallest. And I say, first option, 25,000 for 110. 20,000 for 82. 
or 15,000 for 61? Which one makes the most sense to leave to Susie? And what do you think they say? 80% of the time they choose the one in the middle. Now, I always averaged between 80 and 90 dollars a month even selling final expense. Most insurance agents would walk in here and say the average is 40 to 50 bucks a month. If you don't know what you're doing, that is absolutely true. Okay? Absolutely true. But if you position it correctly, if you sell on relationship and value and you build the benefits and you're so good at the benefits presentation, because when I was a new agent, I didn't, I, I didn't think benefits were important. I didn't think any of these other things were important. I'm like, you know what? Who, who, who buys off features and benefits and people and everything else? Well, that's kind of what people do. So I'll show these. I'll get them to choose one. And I'll say, excellent. That's exactly the one I thought you were going to pick. Let's see if we can get you approved. What's your full legal name? Who thinks they can do that? Who thinks they can do that? Are you still with me? Yeah. Yeah. Who thinks they can do that? Yeah. Who's going to earn 100 k in 2020? Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. I'll see you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university, when you do these different things, okay, when you have a coach, whatever. If you don't have a coach, gosh, darn it, you need.